we have a triangle PQR, such that angle PRQ is labeled as X, and angle PQR is labeled as 3 times X. Now we draw a line from point P, which intersects side QR, at point S, like this, such that segment QS is equal to segment RS, and angle PSQ is 45 degrees. Using only this much information, our job is to find out the value of X. So, can you solve it? Okay, let me show you an out-of-the-box method to approach this problem. We will use coordinate geometry. Assume this is x-axis and this is y-axis, and let us label point S as 0, comma, 0, which is the origin of this coordinate system. Now let point P equals A, comma, B. So, what will be the value of the slope of point PS? Slope between two points is given using this formula. Therefore, the slope between PS will be B minus 0 over A minus 0 or B over A. Also, if I draw a line which is making some angle theta from the positive x axis, then the slope of that line is given as tan of theta. What do you think is the value of theta for line PS? If this angle is 45 degrees, this angle will be equal to 180 minus 45 or 135 degrees, right? Hence, the slope of line PS will be tan of 135 degrees. But tan of 135 degrees is equal to minus 1, and hence the slope of line PS equals minus 1. So B over A equals minus 1, and hence B equals minus A. So point P can also be written as A comma minus A. Now let us label point R as K comma zero, where K is a positive number. So what will be the coordinate of the point Q? Simple, it will be minus K comma zero, right? Because QS is equal to RS. Let us temporarily remove the line PS because we won't be needing it for now. So. Here comes the real magic. First of all, if angle PQR is 3X and PRQ is X, then what will be the value of angle QPR? Sum of all these three angles will be 180 degrees, right? Thus, angle QPR will be equal to 180 minus X minus 3X, or 180 minus 4X, isn't it? Next, draw a line from point Q, such that it makes an angle X with side QR like this. Then draw a line from point R, such that it makes an angle two times X with side PR like this, and it meets this line from point Q at some point U. Can you see something? Angle UQR is angle X, and angle PRQ is also angle X. Then angle PQR is 3X, and angle URQ is also equal to angle 3x. If we draw the y-axis like this, then qs is also equal to rs. Hence, we can see that all points on the left side of the y-axis are just the mirror image or the reflection on the right side of the y-axis. That means point u is just the reflection of point p across the y-axis. So, if point p is a, comma, minus a, then the coordinate of point U will be minus A, comma, minus A. Okay, now let the point of intersection of line UQ and PR be point T. How can we find point T? To do that, first let us find the slope of the line UQ. Again, use this formula. We get slope equals minus A, minus 0, over minus A, minus of minus K, or minus A, over K, minus A. So, using slope point form, we get the equation of line UQ as y minus 0 equals slope times x minus of minus k or x plus k. Similarly, we get slope of line PR as minus a over a minus k or a over k minus a, and equation PR will be y equals this slope times x minus k. Now to find point T, equate both of them. k minus a will get cancelled out and we are left with minus ax minus a times k equals x minus a times k. This gives 2ax equals 0 or x equals 0. 
substitute it here to get y equals ak over a minus k. So point T will be 0, comma, ak over a minus k. Oh, here comes the second magic. If angle uqr is x and angle pqr is 3x, then what will be the angle pqt or this? Yes, right. It will be equal to 2x. Now consider the triangle pqt. If angle pqt is 2x, and we have already found this angle qpr or qpt, which is 180 minus 4x, then what will be the value of angle PTQ, or this? Sum of all three angles equals 180 degrees, and thus angle PTQ equals 180 minus 2x minus 180 minus 4x, or minus 180 plus 4x. 180 will be canceled out, and we get 4x minus 2x, or 2x. Amazing! This means triangle PQT is an isosceles triangle, and thus side length PQ will be equal to side length PT, or square, both sides to get PQ square equals PT square. Now how can we find the value of these side lengths? Simple. We will use the distance formula between two points, which is this. So, we get distance PQ squared equals A minus of minus K, whole square plus minus A minus zero whole square, or A square plus A plus K whole square. Then distance PT square equals zero minus A whole square plus A times K over A minus K minus of minus A whole square, or A square plus A times K over A minus K plus A whole square. Multiply and divide by a minus k here to make the numerator as a square minus a times k over a minus k, and then plus this will be this over a minus k. Oh, look, a times k gets canceled out, and we are left with a square over a minus k whole square. Great. Now equate both of them to get this. Wow, a square will get canceled, and we will be left with this. Take square root on both sides to get rid of the square value. Thus we get a square over a minus k equals plus or minus a plus k. So for plus a plus k case, we get this. Take a minus k here to get a plus k times a minus k equals a square. But this is equal to a square minus k square equals a square. A square will be canceled and we get k square equals zero, or k equals zero. This is an invalid solution, because if k is zero, then point q and r will become zero, comma, zero, or origin, which will be the same as s, and that is clearly not correct. So, now let us try minus of a plus k case, which will give us this. Take a minus k here, and it will become a plus k times k minus a equals a square. We can rewrite this as k plus a times k minus a, or k square minus a square equals a square. So we get k square equals 2 times a square, or k equals square root of 2 times a. This means the distance qs, or rs, will be equal to k, or root, 2 times a. We have reached the climax. Resurrect the line ps from the dead. What will be the distance ps? It will be square root of minus a minus 0 whole square plus a minus 0 whole square or square root of 2 a square or root 2 times a. Oh my god. This means that the segment ps is also equal to both qs or rs. Finally, consider the triangle prs. This is angle X, and this angle is 135 degrees. So, angle RPS will be equal to 180 minus 135 minus X, or 45 minus X. But side PS is equal to side RS, and thus triangle PRS is an isosceles triangle. Therefore, angle RPS will be equal to angle PRS, or 45 minus X equals X. This means 2x equals 45, or x equals 45, over 2 or 22.5 degrees, and that's it. My mind is literally blown right now. 
If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Also, you can support my channel by joining our community and becoming a member. So good!